Hey guys and welcome to a item guide for the cycle interactive screen. This item currently has a weight of 6 and it can be stacked up to 10 per stack. And now when it comes to finding this item. To start off with Bright Sands, it spawns at the jungle area. So it spawns quite commonly at the jungle camp as well as the crash ship. Comms Tower does seem to be the best location in Bright Sands to get this item. And it also has a few spawns down at the swamp inside of the uh, skeleton key. Now over to Crescent Falls. This is a very much more common area to actually get them. Down at Favela is a great location as well as Green Prospects. The Starport area, especially the Starport Warehouse, is a very good place to get these. Now for me personally, when it comes to Bright Sands, the best locations I had was the Comms Tower as well as the Jungle Camp. Now in Crescent Falls it follows the same pattern, Favela is a great location for this item as well as Green Prospects. Green Prospects in my opinion is the best place to find them in Crescent Falls. The item can also spawn inside of luggage, briefcases and hidden stashes and they all need to be above tier 3. Now when it comes to tasks with the ICA an i4 oil part 2 you are going to need 10 circuit boards five miniature reactors as well as five interactive screens for this task and then when it comes to jobs to start off with osiris you need five optic glass five polymetallic fabricates as well as two interactive screens for sensor array repairs and then again with osiris with surveillance center you need two interactive screens as well as two magnetic field stabilizers. And then finally with Osiris again, where is the research drone repairs, you are going to need three gyroscopes as well as three interactive screens. And then to start off, the orbital cannon beacon. You are going to need 49,000 K marks, six derelict explosives, four interactive screens, one unique data drive, as well as 200 osiris scripts and then when it comes to the portable lab you're going to need 7700 k marks two interactive screens eight polymetallic fabricates five magnetic field stabilizers and two biological samplers then for the karma dash one you are going to need one million and eighty five thousand k marks you're going to need three alpha crusher hearts 75 letnum 10 meteor cores and 25 interactive screens next for the rare tactical helmet you are going to need 7600 k marks you're going to need two aluminium scraps two rattler skins and one interactive screen and then finally with the exotic helmet you're going to need 51,000 k marks two interactive screens one gyroscope and one crusher hide and start off with the prospector's quarters. To start off with the K marks rate level 8, the upgrade 1 out of 5, you are going to need 25,223 K marks, 10 interactive screens, 4 Savage Marauder flesh, as well as 58 Osiris scripts. Then onto the Kmart cap at level 5 with the 2 out of 5 upgrade, you are going to need 10,876 Kmarks, 10 Brittle Titan Ore, 5 interactive screens and 21 Coronet scripts. And then with the Orium cap at level 7 with the upgrade of 1 out of 5, you are going to need 25,226 Kmarks, 5 interactive screens, 12 indigenous fruits, and 17 Osiris scripts. And then finally over to the quarters actual level. With level 7 you are going to need 32,000 K marks and you're going to need 14 fusion cartridge batteries, 7 interactive screens and 1 savage marauder flesh. And of course, don't forget to check out the Cycle Frontier Wiki. Now, this wiki is an awesome resource. You have the normal Wikipedia page over to the left, and you've got these companion sites. Now, the interactive map is linked directly with the actual wiki itself. And what we're going to want to do is actually search for the interactive screen on the left-hand side. And you just basically click the interactive screen, click the search, 
and then you'll see your load of numbers pop up on the screen. So these numbers are actually corresponding to how many spawn in the area. So if you actually click on, let's say, the comms tower 72, it will actually zoom us in and show all of the 72 spawns that are dotted around. So that's luggage up here. These are briefcases. This is a hidden stash. And these are actually hard spawns that are dotted around the map. Now on Bright Sands, you can see they do spawn up here as well as Base Camp is a awesome, awesome, awesome location to also get the interactive screens. If we just click on Crescent Falls and then click the little search icon again, you can see all the numbers pop up again. So the Starport Warehouse is a awesome location. So if I click on that one, you can see there is a load just there. And then Green Prospects is another great location as well as Favela down below. I hope you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out the Twitch channel. I live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m. GMT, which is around about 2 a.m. EST. Also, do not forget to check out our Discord as well as the website, thecyclefrontierhelpline.com, as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the Discord. As well, don't forget to check out the the official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out and a huge thank you to the patrons supporting this channel over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and especially a big thank you to beansy freddy and justin asdf for your continued support